It's a summer night. You're with your homies. You guys are rolling in the whip. You turn on the 99.1 KDDI and you hear Mozart on the beat. You know it's going to bang. Wherever y'all going, wherever party kickback y'all going to, you don't want to go there. You want to stay in that car because you know DJ Mustard made that joint and it's going to slap. Mozart on the beat, when he says that, that's called his beat tag or his producer tag. Watch this video and I'm going to show you how to make one. Peace. What's up, YouTube? Happy Father's Day. I think I'm dropping this on Father's Day. I hope I am. It was Father's Day when I made this. Anyways, so I know you guys listen to a lot of the current music, the modern music. You're going to hear Muzzin on the beat. You know, or you might hear Metro Boomer wants some more. Well, if you listen to my beats, you'll hear Play the Beat, Chris. Those are called beat tags or producer tags or producer beat tags. They're basically saying that, hey, if this beat was by, you know, whoever that tag was. That's kind of like their identifier. It's their stamp. I have a friend named Mary. She goes to full set with me and I'm making a beat tag for her. And this is how you make a beat tag. So what I'm going to do is I want to play the before and after. So this is the before. Let me go ahead and get this in a cycle for us. Hey, yo, Mary. Just drop that. Dang, Mary, back at it again with the beats. Yo, Mary, that's fire. Right? Pretty gnarly, right? Those are just three phrases that can be beat tags. This is what it sounds like after. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Drop that. Dang, Mary, back at it again with the beats. 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 Yo, Mary, that's fire. 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 Hey. So as you can see, you can pick a lot from that. And I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to think. What do you hear is the effects inside of the processed beat tag vocals? We know there's a pitch in it, but what else are you hearing without looking at the channel strip because I'm dumb and it's right there and the answer is right there. Yeah. 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 You're correct. So first things first, you want to record two to three phrases for your B tag. That way you have different opportunities, okay? Different, um, you know, selections to pick from when it comes to the beat tags, all right? So after you record those phrases, you wanna make sure that um, your mastering pre-fader, it hits close to negative six dB um, FS as you can. Sometimes you might get negative 6.5, but you know, negative six is good, perfect, and you won't be clipping at that. You know, I already have it fixed, but I want you to look at the dry vocals and where they hit each time. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Six on a dot. Dang, Mary, back at it again with the beats. Negative 6.7, not that bad. Yo, Mary, that's fire. Negative 6.6, hey, definitely not that bad. Okay, so this one is perfect. Negative 6 is where we want to have it. So what about this one right here that's at negative 6.6? And I totally want to have it at, you know, negative 6. Okay, so I'm going to double click on that region. I'm going to go to functions. I'm going to go to normalize. The last time I had it normalized, I'm going to do affect the individual regions, by the way. Last time I had normalized, I pressed negative 7, right? So I'm going to want to go up. So maybe since it's at negative six, just go up negative 0.4 dB. Let's press apply. So last time it was at negative 6.6 .6 dB on the stereo fader. Let's try it now. Dang, Mary, back at it again with the B. Now it looks like at negative 5.5, but let me get a better reference from it. 
Dang, Mary, back at it again with the beats. Negative 5.5, so it looks like we went too high, right? So I go back to functions, go back to normalize region gain. Let's go down a little bit. Maybe negative 6.8. Apply. Play it again. Dang, Mary, back at it again with the beats. Didn't make much of a difference at negative 5.7. So we're going to do it again. We want to normalize region gain. We're just going to go. So we're going to assign a track color for the dries. We're going to put red. Right click color region by track. Color region by track. Color region by track. So we know it's dry. This one's going to be a different color. It's oop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I have it labeled. I can actually just highlight them all and color regions by track. So now I know that the dry ones are red and the processed ones are yellow. Cool, I saved it, it looks cute, all right? So the first steps we do. So after we chop it, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is gonna have a tail, a nice delay to give it that nice effect. So you need to give room at the end. So don't just chop it to where it's like but right here or something you won't be able to hear that delay chop it let it breathe you know a couple bars won't hurt your plane is safe it's better to have too much and it's to fade it out instead of not have enough you know so that's what we're doing here so i do that so the first things that i do as you can see is the channel eq and i want to create this telephone effect right this nice like you know telephone effect that you hear in the beat tags right the way to do that with your eq it's called a bandpass filter and i put it down in the project notes by the way the bandpass filter is a combination of both high pass and low pass filters allowing a specific range of frequencies to pass through while blocking frequencies below and above that range so what does that mean okay let's go ahead and talk about it I'm gonna use the stock right here. By the way, guys, this project file and um, with the notes and everything is gonna be available on my Patreon. Okay, so the notes and the plugin. So it's gonna say B tag dry, B tag process, or you know, just the B tag process track or whatever. It's gonna have everything and the notes. So you're gonna be good to go. So what happens when you put a high pass with a low pass? This is what happens. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. And to see if it's making any difference, let's try without it. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. You see how buried it is, that telephone effect or that in the, you know, like, you know, how Drake does and stuff. Check it out. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. And even then, I feel like I might want to even want to, you know, bring it more over. You know, I want to really put the effect on it. I just go to a pitch shifter. You can use any pitch plugin, but I use the pitch shifter. And I always just go down negative four semitones and adjust the mix all the way up. You know, negative four semitones, that's, that's it. It works. You could do more. You can do whatever. Remember, just play it by ear. This is what it sounds like. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. And let's just see if you had it lower than that. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Even right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the one at negative eight. It's not that bad. I might come back and change it. Let's just keep it there, right? I like at negative eight semitones. I have to mix all the way up. That's all. The next step after that, so typically um, when you add that pitch shift and that um, band pass filter, your volume is going to go down. So what you need to do is make up for that. So what you want to do with that volume is just go to the overdrive distortion and it's a distortion plugin. It's Logic's um, stock and you can have it on yours too, overdrive. Now, what I do when I turn the tone, I hear the fullness of everything. I hear it all. The output to me is kind of the volume and the drive is how hard it's going to have the effect, to be honest with you. So I turn the tone all the way up. I do this with my 808s, by the way, and I can adjust the drive. 
So right now, let's just hear it with the tone all the way up. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Another way, if you guys have listening issues, you can visually look at this stereo fader right here and see if it's hitting to negative six. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. To negative nine, I'm gonna turn the drive up. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. It's basically getting better and better, you know, like it's pretty amazing. But also remember, there's we're going to add something else after the overdrive that's going to help it get to negative six. So we don't want to clip it with too much drive on the distortion. But what do you guys think that you would add after adding a distortion onto something? Think about it. Ding, 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 exactly. After you add a distortion, you're going to compress it. Let's just add a compressor because we just distorted some stuff, right? Now, what do you do with the compressor? First thing you do, turn off this auto gain. Always do that. In this case, you can kind of play it by ear. However, I go to this preset. I'm using a vocal. I'm just making a beat tag. I'm not making a full song. So watch what this negative 7.5 becomes automatically. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Boom, we already right there in the range. And if we wanted to, we can adjust the makeup right here, make it a little bit louder. So we have the compressor, we have the dynamics, we have the distortion, the pitch shift, we have the band pass. What do we do next? How do we get to sound that nice tail? So always put time-based effects in your bus routes. Reverb, delay, chorus, time-based effects. So we're gonna get that nice echo effect with a delay. I go to bus. I would click on a bus, empty bus, and add one. If I already add one, it's on bus four. It's my delay bus. I click on the mixer up here. First thing you do is, you when you go to your bus, is you label it. You double click on it, type it, I have delay. And my delay bus on bus four. What I have is a one half triplet because I want a certain effect on it on certain words. I want it to hit like drop that, drop that, 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 you know, I have had a one half triplet. You have to keep playing it by ear. Hey, yo, Mary, yo, Mary. Just drop that. Just drop that. So as you can see, I adjusted this bus right here, right? That's what it sounds like when I had the feedback just at 6%. And I did have the drive at 72, but I dropped it down to 60. The way that we um, utilize, instead of having the delay on the whole phrase, the way that we have it just on that last word that we want to stand out is called automation. Yes, it is automation. You guys know what automation is? I do. So it's kind of like adjusting the levels of the effects in the track. So when they come in the hardest, when they come in the lowest, it can be used in a song where you want the verse to have maybe the pianos to be a little lower. So you might have an overdrive automation and adjust the drive in the overdrive or the output and then raise it in the chorus using automation because you don't want the same as across the whole um, song, you know, that's automation. It's mostly done with volume, a lot of stuff. Today, we're going to do an effects automation with our bus track, the delay, so we can get those words, those last words, those phrases to echo. So far, this is what we have. Hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. Drop that. See how it says, drop that, drop that, drop that. I love how it sounds, but I don't want the hey, yo, Mary to echo. So I go to automation. How do I do that? I press A and it opens up the automation, right? So by default, it has read and volume 
so usually it comes with volume is the automation logic's default however we don't want to automate the volume we want to automate our delay so we go down here to main it's referring to the main track and then it's going to go to there's different ways you can go to send one delay if we do absolute and relative you draw in there's different ways you can go to send one delay if we do absolute and relative you draw in the volume and the amount of the delay and we already like the way it's set at wet 24 and dry 60 so it kind of be a drawing thing it takes way longer let me show you a shortcut you go to send mute delay what that's saying is that every time that i'll show you right now so let's find the words first hey yo mary just drop that so drop that right here is the words i want to i want to get right right i want to automate that right i want to have that one echo so it's on mute this white line means it's on mute when this white line goes down like this it means it's muted when it's up it means it's active and the fact that's active is going to be our delay send mute delay remember the delay because we labeled it that's why it's important to label let's try it out nice so we can always adjust it we can always add more delay change the eq but it sounds good all right that sounds pretty awesome i like the way that sounds you know let's turn this down so we can hear it better I'll play it from the top one more time hey, yo, Mary, just drop that. that is so amazing so there you go that's the tutorial how to make your beat tag so now i'm going to put that in a folder and i'm going to send it to her and we're all good i want to save this file so you guys are going to have the plugins right it's going to be titled differently you guys can have all the settings in the channel strips and this is going to be available for free on my patreon patreon.com slash carrots beats so yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to slide in the DMs, tag me, hit me up on social media, Karatz Beats, K-A-R-A-T-Z, B-E-A-T-Z. Also hit up Mary's Instagram and Snapchat at XXMaryJAN3X and her YouTube at Mary underscore J333. That is listed in the notes as well. You guys have a lovely evening and once again, happy Father's Day.